Hi, Todd Palmer here. I'm a professor at St. Bonaventure, and I'm a friend of that guy, Jim Mahar. And I have to say, Jim Mahar is probably one of my best friends. I've known Jim for about 20 years. I came to St. Bonaventure. I wanted to do something different. I wanted to do something in service. And right away, Jim was sort of like that guy over there who knew what he wanted to do. Here was a guy that wanted to help people. I really got to know Jim really well when Katrina hit. And Jim and I led a group of students and alums and so forth, uh, other people down to the Mississippi Gulf Coast, uh, about 280 people, if I remember. And that's where I first saw the Jim Mahar method. Jim Mahar is a guy who works. Jim Mahar is a guy who does not stop. This guy continues constantly. Now, Jim, as you probably know, has several things to his credit. Number one, he is a great professor, great teacher. Number two, he also runs SIM, Students of Money Management, and has made that a very, very successful group. But at his heart is always bottle response. Now, here is gonna be the Jim Mahar difference. With most people, when we serve, we serve, and sometimes we serve when we feel like it's convenient for us, or we serve when things are sort of gonna be easy for us to serve that day, but not Jim Mahar. Jim attracts a lot of students to his service projects. And you may not know this, but every Saturday, he's out there building ramps, 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 ramps. That's his major thing on Saturdays. But every Saturday and Sunday, he does that. So that's his project. He does other things too, like uh, uh, making blankets for people with, uh, with, with cancer and food packing. But at the heart, the guy's all about ramps. He loves ramps. But now here is the big difference about Jim Mahar. Jim Mahar will run a service project on Saturday or Sunday if he has 10 people or if he just has one person. And I can't probably tell you how many times that Jim Mahar has actually gone out there and done the bottle response project by himself because that's the kind of person he is. He will not give up. Now, luckily, most days, especially in the school year, he always has students with him, but he's never, ever going to stop. So I want to say that Jim Mahar is not only a friend of mine, he's a personal hero. I also should point out too, he has other people in his life that also have helped make Bottle Responds work. Jen and Reed McElfresh, both incredible people and they're part of that group that makes it happen. So I am going to be thinking today about Jim Moore. I think Jim is down in Florida doing a service project because that is what he does. So anyway, Jim Mahar, incredible human being. Thank you very much, for Jim, for making me a small part of your life and for teaching me all you have to offer.